Islamic bioethics, or Islamic medical ethics, Arabic, al-aklaq al-bit al-aklaq al-tibiyah refers to Islamic guidance on ethical or moral issues relating to medical and scientific fields, in particular, those dealing with human life. Introduction In Islam, human life is regarded as an invaluable gift from God, and should therefore be both respected and protected. This is evident in many Quranic verses or ayat, one of the most important being, "...if anyone slays a human being, unless it be in punishment for murder or spreading corruption on earth, it shall be as though he had slain all mankind." Whereas, if anyone saves a life, it shall be as though he had saved the lives of all mankind." Quran 5.32 It is this verse which has ultimately fueled the interest in Islamic bioethics and within it exist two basic principles which ensure that the sanctity of human life is preserved. Saving a life is obligatory. Unjustified taking of a life is classified as murder and, thus, forbidden, though Muslims recognize and maintain that Allah is the ultimate source of life Quran 2 the Quran illustrates that God has instilled in them reason, free will, the ability to distinguish between what is morally acceptable and what is unacceptable Quran 91 while also supplying the provisions of nature Quran 45 with these things, Muslims are held responsible for maintaining health and preventing illness. In the event that illness occurs, Muslims are obliged to seek medical treatment in a manner which is Islamically appropriate and permissible. <laughs> Sources The fundamental basis of Islamic bioethics is that all rulings and actions must fall into accordance with Islamic law and Islamic ethics. By evaluating bioethical issues from an ethical and legal standpoint, jurists can issue decrees or fatwas regarding the permissibility of the pertaining subject. Any rule that has not been explicitly outlined in the religious texts or formulated from them by jurists is referred to as bid'ah innovation and, therefore, is haram impermissible. For this reason, all medical procedures and treatments, as well as conduct between patient and medical professional must be legitimized by the sources of Islamic law. Quran Hadith or Sunnah Ijtihad in Sunni Islam, ijtihad includes qiyas analogy, ijma consensus, maslaha public welfare, and urf customary practice. In Shia Islam, it is composed solely of al aql reason. Topic: Principles. <inaudible> 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 Principles of bioethics in the Western world were first developed and outlined by two American philosophers and bioethicists, Tom Beecham and James F. Childress, in their book, Principles of Biomedical Ethics. The concept of bioethical principles has since been regarded as a purely Western innovation which is absent in the Islamic health care system. These bioethical principles, autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence and justice have been legitimized by Muslims jurists as falling into the sphere of Islamic law and have also been supported by Quranic verses Quran 3 to 104, 16 to 90 and 17 to 70. They have subsequently become the foundational spirit underlying the oath of the Muslim doctor one, and, thus, dictate the conduct between a Muslim physician and his or her patient. <laughs> <laughs> Authority Formulations of rulings on bioethical issues in the Islamic context generally arise due to some form of deliberation between medical professionals and religious authority who have been recognized as most qualified individuals of location or time period. 
After being approached by health care officials, a member of the religious authority Mufti may then consult the religious texts and determine whether or not a specific issue is obligatory wajib, fard, recommended mustahab, neutral muba, discouraged makru, or forbidden haram. <laughs> Modernity As health care and science have progressed over time, and the Muslim population has also increased to over 1 billion adherents over every continent on the globe, there have been increasingly prevalent circumstances for the evaluation of technological applications and bioethical issues to determine how they fit into the Islamic sphere. As a result, larger bodies of Islamic committees have been formed to address issues at hand. National committees of medical ethics, bioethics have been formed in many Islamic countries which work together with ulama to issue fatwas ensuring that neither the progress of medical science is hindered, nor the Islamic code of bioethics is jeopardized. The importance of Islamic law is so heavily valued that each issue is looked at independently and subsequently deemed permissible or impermissible. Specific issues addressed in the modern scientific era include abortion, fertility treatments, family planning, euthanasia, genetic research, cloning, stem cell research among many other issues. <laughs> Islamic Medical and Scientific Ethics Project The Islamic Medical and Scientific Ethics project is a multinational effort to produce a comprehensive collection of Islamic bioethics resources. Project staff members at two Georgetown University libraries, the Bioethics Research Library Washington and the School of Foreign Service Qatar Library Doha, have already compiled over 1,000 relevant written works into the IMSE Special Collection and have entered them into the searchable IMSE database. The IMSE project is funded by the Qatar National Research Fund QNRF, a member of the Qatar Foundation for Education, Science and Community Development. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>